Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna step back a little bit from the code and talk about how I can connect my sitemap. I have it right here at adesignerwhocodes.com slash sitemap.xml. I wanna connect that to Google Search Console. The reason for this is because my site is brand new. I just launched A Designer Who Codes, the actual website, about a week ago. And I have to tell Google that not only do I have a website, but I have content on the website. And if we take a look at the website, a designer who codes, it's just one long page. So I use the actual anchor points and div tags to create markers down below so that I can connect to about courses overview. I did forget to take out the page two from the Gatsby starter and Patreon. So I wanna connect those pieces over to the Google search console. And I'm gonna show you to do that right now. All right, welcome back. So I have my DNS entries pulled up. This is really important so you make sure that you have access to this. So if you can't find your access to your domain name, pause this video and come back. I'm using Netlify to host my DNS at netlify.com and I have access to add new records to my DNS settings. This is gonna be really important on the offset because we have to have Google connect successfully to our domain name in order to submit a sitemap. So first off, make sure you have access to add DNS records. What I will do is I'm gonna add a text record in about two minutes. So make sure you have access to your text record area inside your domain name. This could be at register.com, it could be at GoDaddy, it can be Network Solutions. There are so many places to register a domain name that I could spend all day listing that. But right now, I have it right here in front of me on netlify.com. So once you have access to your text records in your DNS records, which I have right here, I'm then gonna head over to the Google Search Console. You can find the Google Search Console by going to Google and searching Google Search Console. I know it sounds redundant, but it is. Also note the first entry that pops up is the About section, which I showed before. It looks like that, improve your performance on Google Search, and you can start now, or you can just click the Google Search Console, and it takes you to Welcome to Google Search Console. I know there's no the, but, I'm from Southern California, and that's how we do things. Everything gets personalized, and that's a whole different story into another video unto itself. Okay, that being said, what I wanna do is I wanna choose one of these two. Now here's the thing. You can choose a URL, a URL prefix. There's the word I'm looking for. But if you note, notice how this only attaches to one section of your website, I wanna get access to the domain level, which is the top level access. And it says, well, it accesses all URLs across all subdomains, a mobile or a www. You can also access all URLs across HTTPS or HTTP, but it requires DNS verification. Like I was saying before, we have to put a verification record in the DNS records and settings. I'm in Netlify right here. You can choose your favorite domain platform to use, but somehow you have to have access to those records. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here back to the domain, and since my domain doesn't have www, I'm just gonna literally type a designer who codes dot com and continue. So it's gonna say, hey, you have to verify domain ownership via DNS record, and that's cool. I'm gonna copy this right here copy to clipboard, and I'll head over to a designer who codes and add a new record. I'm gonna choose text record, keep the at sign, cause that's the host name of a designer who codes, and just drop in the value right here. Now this can take up to 24 hours. I usually find it takes about five, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pause this video. Actually, let's see how fast it goes. Last time I used Netlify, it was almost like rapid fire. So let's try verify and see if it works. Oh my gosh, uh, I did not pause this video. If I had a clock in front of me, it works. Kudos to Netlify for making things go really, really fast. I will have to say in general, when I use GoDaddy, it takes about an hour. 
and register.com and other third-party companies that I have used, it takes about two or three hours to verify your ownership. Just so you know, this could be taking a little bit longer. If it does, don't worry. It just means that your propagation of your DNS settings has to go out. What that means is, is that these are set up. However, actually they are somewhere else. There it is, Google Site Verification, looking for that section. It's put in, but the internet is vast and big. And sometimes the cable that it runs from my site to Google just takes a little bit longer. It's almost like a telegram back in the day. You wrote the telegram in England and it took five or six days to get to New York. While you did the work in London or England, actually London is in England, the thing about it is that it does take time to go across the interwebs. While everything does work fast, uh, I'm continually impressed with Netlify more and more. If you haven't checked out Netlify, check out Netlify. I highly recommend them. And no, I am not being paid full disclosure by Netlify. I just use what I like and I like Netlify. Okay, rant over. Back to the meat and potatoes of this demonstration. In here, I have to verify my ownership. Cool, that's easy. So I'm gonna then go back to go to property. And in here is the Google Search Console. It's amazing. It doesn't have any data yet because I really haven't connected. And two, my site's about a week old. So Google probably hasn't found my site yet. That's okay. I wanna head over to sitemaps. And in here is where I wanna add a new sitemap. Remember this URL that I had from way back when? A designer who codes.com slash sitemap. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna come back over here and submit my sitemap. Now sitemaps have to end in XML. There is no other way around it. XML is designed for Google and other search consoles to read your site. They're not meant for you. Most people don't even see this behind the scenes, which is totally fine. They need to see that right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say submit, submitting sitemap, and check it out. Sitemap submitted successfully. Say that three times fast. Whew, Google will periodically process it and look for changes. You'll be notified if anything goes wrong with it in the future. That is true. Google will notify me if anything happens on my site because it continually checks over and over again. I know it couldn't fetch, but if I refresh the page, it does change to success. So what you're looking for is that happy little success. It discovered six URLs, it's one page. It's gonna eventually go down to five because like I was saying before, my mistake was I forgot to take out page two when it came to the Gatsby starter default library. I kept it in and I built the site and now it's still there. So eventually I need to take out page two. It'll drop down to page one or page five, essentially six discovered URLs. But that's how you can set up your sitemap using the Google Search Console. It does, mine went really fast. That's not normally how it happens. Uh, I usually have to wait about half an hour, go get a cup of coffee, come back, and then it works. But just so you know is once you get past that verification, drop in your sitemap and then just hang tight. Uh, basically, because my site's a week old, I probably won't see anything reports and coverages but know full well, you can sleep well at night that Google doesn't really make a lot of mistakes. They're pretty good. When it shows your sitemap showing a success and discovered URLs, you're in good shape. And that's how to submit a sitemap on to the Google Search Console. I know this was a little bit of a break from coding. We all need a break sometimes from typing and making mistakes and all that kind of pieces. Uh, but once again, this is kind of the final step is after you build your website, you have to then not just launch it, but get it on to Google via the Google Search Console. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.